My best friend, who we'll call Kayla, wanted me and our other friend, who we'll call Lily, to come over for a sleepover. One of the things we did was watch a bunch of nursery rhymes for kids. I don't know why, but we were watching them anyway. One of them was about a mother cat and her kittens, and the kittens had done something naughty, and the mother cat goes, Meow, 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 you shall have no pie. And Kayla stops, and she goes, Danny roams the house to like 3am singing meow 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 you shall have no pie and Lily and I look at each other like that's creepy because Kayla's little brother Danny is adorable not creepy at all so for him to be singing a song at 3am in the morning is kind of weird so we decided to make alternate versions of what he was saying. Like, what if he's saying, Meow, 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 I just found the knife. Or what if he's singing, Meow, 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 be prepared to die. It's morbid, I know, but I guess it was fun to scare each other. Anyways, it was much, much later. Kayla had been asleep, leaving Lily and I to talk. So it's 2am and we are talking about ghosts and things like that. And then we look across the hall where Danny's room is. And it has a baby gate in the doorway, which was open. And we both notice that at the same time. And Lily goes, I'm going to shut that. So she goes over and she shuts and she locks the baby gate. She came back in and we talked for uh, about 10 more minutes when we hear two sobs come from the end of the hall. And then a couple seconds of silence. And Lily and I look at each other like, what? And then we hear the sound of Danny getting up and walking to the baby gate. And we hear him laughing. It's weird for a two-year-old to be laughing at nothing at 2am in the morning. We're a bit scared when we hear this smash and Lily throws the rug over her head. And I look, Danny has thrown the baby gate that was locked and shut his throne open with such force that smashed against the wall and he just walks out and I flop onto the bed and pretend to be asleep even though I'm still watching him and I watch as he looks around and then starts coming towards the room we are in and Lily and I were both pretending to be asleep and we're just like oh my god this baby is possessed how did he do that so he comes in and he just goes to Lily and he just lays down with her. And we talked for another hour, keeping Danny awake to make sure he was not possessed. And then when it was time to go to sleep, Danny decided he wanted to sleep with me. So I had to sleep with a maybe possessed two-year-old for the rest of the night. Totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end.